Um, I see a great turnout today, and I know it's very busy, so thank you all for coming. So I started as a volunteer in the Climate, Oceans, and Paleo Environment Lab, which is in the REM department. And it took me two semesters before they made a co-op job just for me in this lab. <laughs> and this is the project I worked on, and it's looking at the synergistic effects of adding calcium hydroxide into seawater and seeing if we can mitigate the effects of climate change and ocean acidification. <laughs>
analyze silicate and phosphate in the water, a pH, and refractometer, which measures salinity. I taught myself how to use JMP, which is statistical software. I used ImageJ as well. And I learned that all experiments have limitations. And our biggest limitation was that neither me or Carolyn has done an experiment like this. And so this was a pilot project for both, both of us, and it was a huge learning curve. Um, yeah. Some, so the real lab experiences. There are days when you get really excited. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> you see new things every day, and that's awesome. That's the best part about research. And there are days when you just feel defeated. Oh, my, my oysters aren't growing. I feel really sad. <laughs> <laughs> but the most important lesson is failure is the first step to success. So we learned from our mistakes and we redid the experiment using oyster larvae the next semester. And we found that the larvae were more, in fact, more impacted by ocean acidification than the adults. So, and they decreased the survival rate. So that's something that we should be cautious about. Like Peck, Simon Fraser University in the School of Fruits and Run for giving us the equipment and the location to do it, Dr. Karen Colfield. She was our last supervisor. She provided us with funding to do this, Carolyn Duckham for being my supervisor through this all, and Taylor Shelford France for providing us with the oysters tests. Thank you so much.